Hey you guys, it's Debbie from My Vagabond Style. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to work on my Rooms Gone Wild today. Uh, this has been a popular series and yeah, it doesn't make any sense why there's a pug on the front of this, but uh, I liked him and that's where he landed. <laughs> but this is um, evolving a bit. I don't have these in order in here, but I'm noticing that my homeowners are this was the first one I did, I believe. And, um, you know, she's just a gal that I inserted in there. And then as I started going, I did this one, which was not inside a room, but looking from the outside in this little cabin, which I think turned out really cute. And then uh, this one, I started using the big headed uh, paper dolls and I love putting them in the room. So we're going to continue with that and put a big head headed person in here. This was the wild party. And um, yeah, a lot of crazy things happen in these rooms. Uh, I love the cat and this weird contraption. And uh, this one was really fun. I have videos on all of these and they are on a playlist called Rooms Gone Wild. So I hope you check them out because they're really fun to see them evolve and turn into these uh, crazy rooms. And here's the judgmental neighbor in this one. <laughs> I compared this lady to myself. This was the crazy auntie that comes with her um, liquor in her purse and a duck wearing glasses. So anyway, uh, so today we'll add another one to this book. I'm excited to do that. It's always fun to do these. And so this is exactly the page size that will go into that book. And what I like to do is I like to look at the room through the through this viewfinder here and see you know where I want to cut it and it will it work for you know that page or that journal so um I, I thought I would show you this one I'm not going to do it today but I think this would be fun to do like an outside patio kind of thing I also think you know like look who's coming to dinner would be another fun one to do for the holidays I um do think I'm going to, I want something with like a sitter today. I want to find a sitter on for one of these benches. I thought this would be really cool because we could change things out the window here. This one also has a really big window and I think this one will be fun. I think we should do this one today and we can add in whatever we want here. A few things in front. We'll have our sitter or lounger person and then add something fun out the window. So let's let's try to do something like that. Let me put these away. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this down where I think I want it. I kind of want this whole lounge. That's kind of the focus of the whole thing, I do believe. So let's let me cut this down. Okay, so now I have it cut down to size and we can look for our sitter. So I, when I separated all my people, I have one envelope that's called sitters. All of these people are sitting or kind of like this gal here is like leaning. Let me just take them out. He's a sitter, you know, she's sitting on something. This one's kind of lounging again, another lounger. So they're loungers and sitters and leaners. And so I know that I've got a couple small people in here. I could cut her out and maybe, I don't know, her body is pretty much tucked into this thing. I'd, I'd probably keep her on that. This gal is sitting. might be able to cut that in such a way that she could sit there. In fact, I'm gonna just, I'll cut this out so we can see. Maybe she'll work. And then we could just change out her head. She pretty much works. She's okay. So she's a possibility. 
here's here's like kind of a leaner <laughs> and oh here's a guy it was a guy with no head that we could replace he's he's good part of his shoe is kind of legs kind of cut off here's another one oh i think we found our homeowner i like him and then we could change out his head I get all excited about changing out the heads. Okay, let's pretty much, I think he's going to work. Let me get the sitters out of the way. And now we're going to go to the heads. Okay, I have these arranged in here with tiny heads, small heads, big heads, and huge heads. So I think we're going to go with probably the small heads. And let's look through here and see. I don't have very many men's heads. I have a lot of lady heads, so I'll have to keep an eye out. Right, maybe a baby face might be cute. That head, that head's bigger. That's pretty good. Oh, but I love this head. Oh, that's so good, you guys. I'm not sure which one I want to use. So we have hands right here. I don't know if you can see them. He was cut, there was two ladies on each, one on each side of him. Um, I think I can just put a little bit of cream color paint right there. I'm not going to worry about that. But we just need to decide what head, right? Hmm, let me uh, cut this head off real quick. Sorry, guy. We're leaving a tab. Hmm, I could actually probably, with either one of these, take his neck off right there, and I'm just going to put it, oh, I don't know. I guess it depends on which head we decide on. I'm surprised I had two choices. I thought maybe I would be lucky to find one. Okay, if I use this head, I'll probably cut that whole neck out and use just this neck. So serious. I'm going to have to go with the big head, I think. I hope it was your favorite. He's just so happy. Right? Okay, let me um, see if I can add just a little paint. This is pretty close to the same color, I think. It's so close. I don't even think you're going to be able to notice it. Okay, so we're just going to put that little, leave that little neck there and attach the head. Which way we're we tilting? Maybe that way. Let's 
so cute. Okay. Put the heads. I'm going to put the small heads back. And then, of course, you know, we have to put something else in the window. I don't know if I want to just cut all of this out right here and leave that and it's just going to be right here. Let's try that first. Because I can always go back and cut out more if we want to make this whole thing a window. Okay. And then we'll just have to see what we want to put behind there. I don't know if any of these will work, but I kind of have some, I'm going to tack him down. I kind of have some backdrops already, some backgrounds that might work. Just want him tacked down here for a minute. I don't know if this is exactly where he's going to stay, but I think it is. So we can try a few of these out. And I'm going to have to take another piece of paper because we won't see all of this. So he could have that kind of fun stuff in the background. That's pretty. Nice. I used this one already. This is kind of the fun part where you can just kind of scoot the picture around till you see what you want. The city is fun. That's kind of nice. Here's another city view. I don't think I like that. Ooh, that's kind of good. I think I need to cut this part out right here too. This one I'm holding, holding aside. That's nice. Uh, let's see. This could be his neighbors. Okay, I think that's it for those. We found some possibilities. I do think that after looking through all those images that I, I want to see what it's going to look like if I don't have all of this behind there. I kind of at one point thought maybe I could have somebody hang out that window, but um, I don't think I'm going to do that just because of where he's seated. So let me take this part off. Mm, I think I want that right there. I'm not sure. I might come back and cut this to the black line there. We'll see. Okay, so we've got that and then we need this window taken out too. I'm going to take out all that black, make it just a little bigger. Let me re-examine what we've got here. So that one, I have to deal with some words. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. This one would be a whole lot easier to work with. And then there's this pretty one too. I also went on to Collage Soup and I bought their, what was it called? It's called Brick by Brick. And it was a 99 cent digital book. And so I printed these two out because I thought maybe they might look kind of cool behind there. And I definitely want some of that moon in there. Okay, so there's that one, and there's also this one, which is pretty cool. There we go. This will work better. I really do like this one because we get so much more stuff in the background there. I think we should go with this, you guys. I do. All right, this kind of looks like maybe a stained glass piece right here. Okay, so we'll go with that one. And then let's find some fun stuff to put in the room with him. Okay, I've got it cut out the size of my journal. And then he will go right on top of here. And I do want to put something in his hands. You know, I always like to do that if I can. So I am going to do a little cutting back here. And I found something fun to put in his lap. I know you guys are probably thinking it's a dog. It's not a dog. Let's see, did I go all the way through? That's a pretty thick, I'm going through two here. So he is an excellent musician. So he's got his little guitar. Okay, I've got his little guitar in there. I had to, I, I did struggle with that. It's not going to look like it for you guys because, you know, I'm not going to have you watch me three minutes of struggling to get the guitar in there, but uh, it was a bit of a struggle. Okay, so let's see. What else are we going to do here? I have, I'm going to put some different shoes on him. I'm actually going with these fun roller, roller blades. So let me cut them out here. I'm going to put them just high enough where it's on the edge here. I will cut a little, his heel off right here. Sorry, dude. Okay. Right there. So it all makes it on the page. His other one might be hanging off just a little bit, but that's okay. All right, he's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and tack him down here just so we know we're, what we're dealing with. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue stick. And that way I can get behind it if I need to. But for right now, I think I just need it to stay in place so I know where to, to put stuff. Okay, so what else are we gonna do in here? I found, I'm going to put this in, in his room. He's kind of got his book and his wine just hanging out, although I don't think he should be drinking and rollerblading and playing the guitar at the same time. That, that is not good. But, you know, it's his choice. Okay, so we're going to put this right here. And again, just the glue stick, the non-committal glue stick. Although this one, this one's pretty much a committal. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be moving it too far. 
Okay, I've got it there. It's kind of tucked a little bit behind his skate because that is, you know, farther back in the room than his roller blades. And then let's see, I've got, I kind of thought it looked a little bare right here. So I'd like to put maybe a couple pictures. I'm going to put them right here. I think that will work. And then he has a friend. So this is a paper doll that I made a long time ago. I did just add his legs, but this is like very strange. But he also is partaking in an adult beverage as well, hanging out with him, his friend. So maybe I want to put these a little higher. Yeah, like right about there. And then we'll do this one up even higher. Okay, so our friend goes here. There we go. And I think I'm just going to switch over to Art Glitter Glue. Right about there. Okay, and what else? I do think there needs to be a payphone in here. I don't know why, but there is a payphone. <laughs> it just kind of fit there. Oh, it feels like a pretty good sticker. Put that right about there. Okay, and I also found this Hawaiian girl, and I thought if I could get her on these stairs, she doesn't have any, any feet, but I don't think you'll notice that when I put her up here, but doesn't she look good, like, looking at the moon? So let's see where we can put her, maybe right here. I think right there. I like her hand kind of crossing the moon. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we'll get her right here with her hand just crossing the moon. Looks like she's looking up at it. Okay, and then, you know, we do have to have a dog, I think. So I've got this one here. I also have one other one that I could try. There's this little cutie pie in a bucket. I don't know why he's in a bucket. I could have him just right here. Hanging off the end. And I like this one, but he just blends in so much. Let me, let me look at my dogs and see what I have. I did find somebody to go with this dog. I'm going to keep the white dog. So we'll go ahead and put him on. Right about here. Hope you can see that. Okay, and then I found this cat, and he's, his face, like this dog, looks a little disturbed. Right? <laughs> Just a little bit aggravated. So then I was thinking, okay, maybe he, because he's looking at this cat. So we're going to put the cat right here. And now it all makes sense. Cut that off right there where that science diet starts. The, the advertising is right there. So we'll 
and do that and cut that off. And then the last thing that I want to do is, okay, so this guy is obviously a celebrity of some sort and he has these crazy friends and we have the Pavarazzi outside having a good old time trying to get the next exclusive picture here. So we'll put her back through the window. Oh, move her down just a little farther. There we go. And then we'll glue him down. All of this actually. It's never pretty on the back side here, is it? There we go. I think this one turned out really fun. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye, you guys.